So, I know it's been way too long since I've uploaded on this channel, and uh, I think it's time I start doing it again. There's uh, a lot I've been wanting to release and to create. I still get a lot of comments on this channel, uh, surprisingly, which is amazing. Asking for tutorials and little things like that. So hopefully today I can bring a tutorial to you guys that you've been asking for quite a long time now. Do you have the tabs for it? Tabs, please. Teach me! Tab, please. You got tabs. <laughs> So, without wasting any more time, that's even if anybody's gonna watch this, let's dive in. So first, we're gonna start off on the G on the 6th fret, and then D on the 7th fret, and then 9 on the 8th. So that's the first shape there. And what we're gonna do is go G, D, and A. So we'll do that twice in a row. Then immediately right after that, we're gonna go B on the 6th fret. G on the 4th, and right above the B, we're going to go on D on the 6th fret. And that's going to be the second sequence. It's going to go. And then from there, we slide down 1, 2, 3, same shape. And then the last sequence is going to be E on the 5th, and then 7 on the B, and then 6 on the G. So all together, it sounds like. And that repeats twice. So after that whole sequence, you go into the little upper section here. And to play that, you'll go nine on the E, 10 on the B, and 11 on G. And you're gonna play this like basically going from E, B, G back down to B and E. So then when you get back down here, so now you're sliding from the ninth fret to the seventh fret. Nine, eight, seven. So and you're always gonna wanna keep this finger here, the first finger on this fret. And then stretch over here on the B to the 9th fret. And then 10 on the G. And you're gonna go. And then once you do that, you're gonna wanna put your pinky right underneath that third finger. So it'll basically be on the E on the 9th fret, or 10th fret, I'm sorry. So then you go. And then right back to the beginning. To that shape there. So in sequence, it's basically so right after that sequence, we're gonna go into this section here. So to get there, we gotta go on the B string from 9, 10 to 12. And then land on the E on the ninth fret. And then you're gonna come back and do a little uh, faster sweep uh, or pluck, I guess, as you're going down there. Starting from the G. Then immediately right after that, you're gonna go 12, 11, 10 on the E. And then we're gonna go B on the 12 and G on the 13. So we're here now. And then we slide up, one, two, three, keeping the same shape and go. And then we end it out with. So then we'll do what we did before, kind of in the beginning. B on nine, 10 and 12. And then go into the beginning shape and then end on the 14 on the E. If you could stretch, you could do that even too. Or a slide up. So all together, that sequence is. Now 
this next section is gonna be pretty tricky. It could kind of consist of barring and kind of like a alternate picking. So where we're gonna start is on the E on the fifth, and then two on the E, and then two on the B. But you gotta hammer off. So slowly kind of build up your speed. That's what's gonna make it kind of difficult, but with practice, everything makes it perfect. Then you'll go into. So four, one on the E, and then two on B, kind of like a gallop. Here we're gonna go seven, four on the E, and then six on the B. And then finally we go 9, 5 on the E and then 7 on the B until eventually you uh, got a consistent speed with it. You go into this section right here. And what you do is there, it's all on the E string so you're going to go 9, 8 and 7 twice. And then go five, seven, five, four on the E. And then seven, six, seven on the B. And then you're just gonna start alternate picking kind of fast. You go, which is the easy way to play it on uh, if you're gonna go uh, from the E string. But then there's. So 9, 7, 10, 9, 7. So, there you go. If this tutorial was any help to you at all, please like the video and comment how I did as tutoring you guys how to play it. Hopefully, it helps you guys to try to practice it and uh, to try to really nail it down. So yeah, a lot more to come. And if you guys have any suggestions for me to do like another tutorial, please let me know and I'll try my best to try to actually make it for you guys. Pretty excited to be uploading back on this channel. You guys will be seeing a lot more content from me, releasing new music, releasing some new covers, and helping you guys out too. So that about does it for this video. So you guys be safe out there, and I'll see you guys on the next one.